What's going on YouTube? Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Tonight, I'm super excited to bring you this video for XRP because I believe we just hit a trigger for a massive bullish move. I want to explain to you why I believe this using ICT concepts and smart money concepts. So stick around guys. I want to go over everything. Right, guys if you're not familiar ICT is inner circle trading check out his YouTube channel ICT on YouTube his website he does mentorships he's got hundreds and hundreds of hours of, of um, market analysis and just learning how to read these charts and learning his concepts his concepts will change the way you look at buying and selling trading anything it works on commodities indices Forex and crypto I'm going to show you exactly what the concepts are you're going to learn how the algorithms work, how to trade with the algorithms and how to trade with the banks and the market makers so that you are always on the right side of the market maker or as often as you can be. That being said, I'm going to go into the key areas. I'm going to talk about a couple key things and then break them down so that the terminology that I'm using in your own uh, analysis. So first things first is I'm looking at recent price action and just structure. What is the structure? You know, a high, a low, a lower high, an equal low here didn't really do much. And then we had, this was our lowest low. We had another low, a lower high, and then this was the bottom. This was our lowest low of the year in January 2nd. Put a line here. So again, from this top, high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Then we had here our first higher high of this structure because our previous high was here. Now we have a higher high here. Now what you look for when you're looking for for moves with with big moves, when you see a a change of structure, you want displacement. You want the move to run in that direction pretty quickly. You want to see the market displace. And what happens when the market displaces is typically they will it will leave a fair value gap behind and you can see here that there was a fair value gap right here so the fair value gap is a three candle pattern where the top wick of this candle in a bullish scenario so this is a bullish fair value gap the top of the wick of the first candle and the bottom of the wick of the third candle they don't touch they don't there's a gap between them where this one large buy candle on Wednesday, the 11th of January, there was no balance in the order books. The order book, there was not enough sell volume to keep that price. So the buying pressure went through the roof. The, the price went up and sales could not be completed or, or buys couldn't be completed in this area. So the price went up. These gaps want to be filled. So again, here you get this fill here, you get just a wick through and you get this swing kind of a lower low here, not a lower low, but just get this kind of a, a wick through and then right back up. And, and then you get that buying pressure again. So this was our, you know, our new high. And what you see, you see this massive one day move displacement past this high, the price displaces that high. It doesn't just wick above it it runs through it and closes well above it and with that comes a fair value gap now with this fair value gap you see it gets touched here it doesn't go through it gets touched here and price runs back typically when i'm trading fair value gaps if i'm confident in the move i'm confident that that this is the deepest fair value gap that I'm going to see, then I'm going to put a limit buy order right at the top of this fair value gap. And that's typically where I'm going to enter. And this would be the absolute, probably one of the best entries that you could have gotten outside of this one here. But you see that these are deep retracements on these fair value gaps. Now you see one here you'll see what today did today or yesterday's candle at this point wicked through this gap and then closed back at the very top of it 
And what that did was it took sell side liquidity. It took out liquidity, it took out stop losses. A lot of people bought this, you know, bought this candle here, this, this, this long wicked, you know, bullish hammer candle and put their stop losses right on the bottom of it. And they got stopped out. There's a lot of stop loss pressure and you can tell that the buys were coming back in to buy out these stop losses because the price wicked right back up and the price right now is going bullish on this next day. Now for this to play out, for this scenario to ring true, this wick can't get tested. If price breaks below this wick, this scenario is done and this will not be, obviously this will not be our, you know, a local low, there'll be another local low below it. So this looks like a very, very bullish manipulation to get the lowest entry price for the next leg up. And the reason I say that is because we have, you know, we have this move where we have a Fibonacci level here, retraced to about 62. So about a 618 retracement. When we come up here and we see that we retraced you know, back to this fair value gap, but between the 705 and the 790. So anywhere between the 62 and the 790 here is like a, for me, this is like a golden pocket for a retrace. It could stop anywhere from here. Anything you know, beyond equilibrium, beyond the 50 is a good, good area. Below 62 down to 705 is a fantastic entry point in either direction. If you're you know, using your Fibonacci on the bullish or the bearish, beyond equilibrium beyond the 50 percent is a very good entry when you have these ict concepts where you swing below a low but you don't close a the displacement there was no displacement below this level it didn't hold below this level you know like we saw here we saw this big displacement candle and we went way you know way past this new high there was no displacement here so when a a low or a high gets hit but doesn't get displaced the typical next step is to test the opposite side so here you know this high this high candle here while it peaked here you see that we had attempted to get back to it but we couldn't displace it. We couldn't break above it and we couldn't displace it. So price pressure went back down. And now we got to this low, we couldn't displace it. The next logical step is going to be to retest at least 56 cents, potentially 58 and a half. But the biggest thing is that we are in a macro bullish structure. We're making higher highs, higher lows. This could very easily be another higher low. So we have our low, we have a higher low. Nothing for the third low. This low has not confirmed yet because in order for this to be a higher low, we have to make a higher high than this 58.5. We have to make a new higher high for this to be confirmed as the low. So with that being said, guys, this is actually ending up looking like it's going to be very bullish. And I hope I explained this well. I, I want to make more videos with this concept. I want to make more videos showing you ICT concepts. The biggest takeaway is to look for, for gaps that are created by displacement moves. Look for these fair value gaps. They typically will want to be retested. They typically will want to be filled. And you might see this fair value gap here, but this one was really just a fill of this downward gap. You see this downward gap here got filled on the way back up. So when you have equal uh, fair value gaps on the way down and then on the way back up, they typically will just cancel each other out. And you'll see here, gap down, gap back up. And then this was the one we're looking at. This fair value gap is what we're looking at to see the next move up. And I truly, truly believe that we are very likely going to at least see 56 get retested likely 58 get retested. And because we are in a bullish structure, 
the most likely scenario that I believe within the upcoming weeks to months. You know, so we are 26 days down. We could be 26 days out roughly to test this new high. You know, it could be 40 days, 40 days, 45 days, somewhere in this range to get above 58. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like this content. Please let me know. Give me some comments. Let me know if you like this ICT and smart money concepts because I believe that this will be the most accurate way to read charts and the most accurate way to be profitable with trading. As always, guys, until next time, peace.